The Sustainable Infrastructure Alliance is a partnership between GIZ and Global Infrastructure Basel, as well as three certification bodies, TUF Nord, SGS, and True and Fair. The Alliance's purpose is to promote the adoption of international standards for sustainable infrastructure. The Alliance has done so in part by working with stakeholders around the world engaged with the SURE standard, the standard for sustainable and resilient infrastructure. In the first two videos of this series, we discussed the business case for sustainable infrastructure standards and interviewed partners and experts that have been most closely engaged in implementing the standard. In today's video, we collected shorter responses and testimonials from 10 individuals representing various types of infrastructure stakeholders, financiers, certification bodies, NGOs, project developers, and community representatives. SURE was developed through a broad consultation with many of these stakeholders, and several, but not all of those we interviewed, are members of the SURE Stakeholder Council. Broadly, we asked various stakeholders to send us videos and quotations about the importance of ESG for infrastructure projects and about how adopting standards for their infrastructure has helped their projects. Let's hear what they have to say. Well, I believe that a key impediment to um, sustainable infrastructure being built is really the lack of a common language between environmental and social NGOs, policymakers, developers, and financiers. And um, an important role for sure to play is to help bridge this divide by creating not only a common vocabulary, but also a common North Star to follow. So it helps for transparency of the whole process of certification. It also helps all interested parties to participate during the stakeholder consultation phase. And it also helps to make a project design attractive for potential investors. Since infrastructure projects have such a long lifespan, it is vital now more than ever that we align our infrastructure plans to ambitious climate and nature goals. WWF has been involved in the Standard Committee for a number of years to help share our expertise on this topic. Shaw and other sustainable infrastructure standards have an important role in ensuring sustainable infrastructure is truly sustainable and avoids greenwashing. It can also support project developers to design better projects that are more resilient and sustainable in the longer term and ensure that infrastructure development does not threaten our global climate and nature goals. We have recently gone through the SHOA certification audit and it has helped us immensely to understand the new sustainability and resilience practices of our project. Rather than going for uh, ISOs or national and local audits, uh, SHOA provides a comprehensive uh, monitoring in a single standard we are immensely benefited by the SHORE certification and in my view, uh, SHORE should get the support of all the developers, financiers and the local government. So my name is James Stewart and I work at the World Bank Treasury and I joined the Global Infrastructure Basel Stakeholder Council for Sustainable and Resilient Infrastructure last year. And I joined it because I feel like it's a great comprehensive standard and something that infrastructure investors around the world are looking for and seeking so we can collectively build an asset class in infrastructure investments in emerging markets in particular. So the SHORE standard comes in addition to this process-based certification scheme for us to recognize sustainability considerations in project design and operations. Standard is like a lens for us that can be used for the critical screening of projects so our partner cities can use it to make sure that infrastructure projects are well received and broadly supported by all relevant stakeholders. Sustainable infrastructure has, without a doubt, a major role to play. But sustainable infrastructure is not just about energy efficiency or the choice of materials. It is about a whole new approach for the low carbon or carbon neutral society. We at the Guangzhou Institute for Urban Innovation are very keen in working closely with SHORE and the Sustainable Infrastructure Alliance to identify, document, and disseminate innovative solutions and best practices in sustainable infrastructure 
to further the attainment of the global goals and to making our cities more livable. We very much welcome the sure standard for sustainable and resilient infrastructure as it provides important and independent certification on the adherence of infrastructure projects to important governance, social and environmental criteria. Particularly relevant in the case of nature-based solutions is the emphasis on engaging citizens and communities as key stakeholders throughout the whole process. We chose to join SURE Standard Committee because it brings together expertise and collaboration to develop more reliable parameters to achieve sustainable infrastructure. SURE has an important role in transforming infrastructure to become more sustainable because it represents credibility with an international accepted standard, efficiency to improve the quality and the resilience of local infrastructure. It is important that in our communities, we do have conducive infrastructure that will meet the needs of the children. Our children need us. They need safer spaces. They need safer infrastructure. If we all come together, we'll make a better life and a better future for our children. Infrastructure affects everyone in our daily lives, often in ways we don't even think about until something breaks or goes wrong or until our own or others' interests are negatively affected. It's important that standards touch on a variety of ESG factors. Infrastructure is critical to so many sustainable development goals, not just those most obviously linked to water, energy, transportation, or cities. And sustainability is important to many groups, not just those connected to environmental considerations. So it's important that we continue to listen to all these voices. I hope this series has helped pique your interest in the topic of sustainable infrastructure. For more information about the Alliance, I invite you to contact me or our partners. We believe that by working together to promote standards for sustainable infrastructure in the developing world, we can help contribute to both achieving the sustainable development goals, as well as ensuring the economic viability of infrastructure projects for project owners and financiers.